Um, I rise, Cahirlock, to support uh, this motion of no con confidence in Minister Murphy. Minister Murphy is presiding over a housing and homelessness emergency. This is no accident and no error. It is the result of a deliberate policy being pursued by this government and indeed by previous governments. The policy sees housing as a commodity. That policy sees the market as the solution to the housing and homelessness crisis and emergency that we have. It has failed and was always going to fail and will continue to fail. And the reason the Minister refuses to tackle that housing and homelessness emergency, the reason he will not commence a large-scale construction of public housing on public lands, the reason he will not provide significant affordable purchase and affordable rental schemes, the reason he refuses to freeze rents or to stop families being evicted into homelessness is that he is is that he is, an he is part of an extreme, free-market, pro-super-rich government. The right to housing is a human right. But the Minister and the government are treating housing as a commodity on the market, resulting in the biggest housing and homelessness crisis since the famine. The Minister and the government's policy on housing has been criticised by the United Nations Special Rapporteur on the right to adequate housing, who said that housing is stability, housing is security, and housing is dignity. And crucially, she said, housing is not a commodity. The Minister's policy is damaging children and families and society generally. Indeed, the result of the Minister's policies, we see it only this afternoon, Another increase in the homelessness figures in October, 10,514 persons homeless. One in three of those are children. And in fact, homelessness has increased by 354% since September of 2014. And indeed, since the Minister's appointment, homeless, the homelessness figure has gone from 7,300 to 10,300. Rents have skyrocketed also under the Minister's tenure over 2,000 euros in Dublin currently, and up 8% nationally on the same period last year. One in five renters pay in excess of 40% of their income on rents. And housing assistant payment tenants, on average, pay a top-up to landlords of 200 euros per month in addition to their local authority rents. These figures are absolutely unsustainable and mean that these tenants having two cents to put together at the end of a week. An illness, a bereavement, a communion, a confirmation or an unexpected bill can and do drive these families into, into debt and indeed into long-term debt. A generation of young families are locked out of ever having a family home. Thousands of these families are just above the limit to get on a local authority home waiting list. At the same time, they will not qualify for a mortgage. They are condemned to paying exorbitant rents long term. Even families who are lucky enough to get on the local authority lists face reviews and face removal from those lists because their income may have crept over the income limit. I've seen cases where families with only social welfare income have been removed from local authority housing lists. And then we have 77,000 on those lists, and we have 37,000 families on housing assistance payment with no security of tenure and paying exorbitant rents. And of course, there are thousands on no lists, the hidden homeless, living with families or with friends or sleeping on couches. The, the Minister's housing policy is not only a failure, it is a disaster a disaster for families and for society. It has broken the social contract between the government and the public. The housing and homelessness emergency can only be successfully tackled by the declaration of a statutory housing and homelessness emergency, by the building of an emergency large-scale public construction housing programme on public land, 
by large-scale affordable purchase and affordable rental programmes, by the freezing of rents at significantly reduced levels, and by ensuring that tenants, sitting tenants have the right to main, remain on as tenants in sale situations. Last count, Corla, to implement these measures requires the removal of the Minister, and indeed it requires the removal of the Government, and I support the motion. Sir Margaret. Sir Margaret, uh, 